Well, it happened. Researchers used brain organoids to operate AI agents. Yes, our tiny human brain friends. The tiny brains that you can grow from stem cells and have operate a computer. One of the issues with creating true agency, true consciousness, and true sentience is that you do have to have will. There also has to be a degree of randomness involved, and what better to do that than actual biological life forms? This paper is quite strange and possibly deranged, but I do think it's a step forward towards real cognition. The researchers created three different kinds of AI, one that operates slime molds, one that operates termites, and one that operates flocking birds, and they attached those to brain organoids. So the brain organoids themselves are operating the agency. The spiking patterns are being recorded and they're being turned into an art exhibit. That art exhibit is essentially a ecosystem designed by real living brains. This is quite a bit different than other brain organoid research where we've seen feedback. Like the artist who decided to post ominously use his blood to create brain organoids to continue composing music after he's gone, that did have feedback. So they're capable of learning with the feedback they get. A lot of brain organoids are taught with things like electric shocks or dopamine. In this case, they recorded the patterns, but I've never seen anyone use them to operate AI agents, and I wondered if it was possible. In order to have agency, you do have to have some kind of will. The spiking of the neurons happens spontaneously, and that can trigger an event. That event can be recorded to create something like this. Now, it isn't the worst idea to use something without cognition, without feedback, to model natural systems. That actually works pretty well. In fact, fractal systems can be used to model things like honeycombs on beehives. Bees are not thinking an awful lot, but they do have neural spiking patterns. Where this comes in with robotics, we've already seen a lot of research that involves feedback and directed goal learning for organoids. We've seen them embodied in Pac-Man, for example, where the brain organoids would get continuous electric shocks unless they got food in which they would get some peace. Again, it seems that both positive and negative reinforcement is better than just negative, but it works. Using brain organoids and giving them the ability to control an agent and also having the feedback could make something dangerously close to sentient. Granted, they are already technically considered sentient because they're capable of having an experience, they're capable of having a preference, they enjoy things and dislike other things, which would suggest they are having a qualitative experience, even if they don't have a concept of self, which would be consciousness. Combining brain organoids with AI, I really think could get us to consciousness. And I know maybe that's hyperbolic, maybe I'm being idealistic, but what are we missing? There is, of course, the issue of taking a thought that an LLM can express verbally. It can say that it has a concept of self, and that still needs to be coded back into the organoids to be processed as information that would mean self. And demonstrating that, I think, would be nearly impossible. Even if we did get to the point of doing that, how would we ever prove that they understand what they're saying? Come to think of it, how do you know that you understand what you're saying? And we're going to get to a brain in the jar philosophical area. But you know what? We already have literal brains in jars. So maybe these conversations are worth having. Either way, I'm really excited because I wanted to know if this could be done and somebody did it. Kudos. It, it might be a crime against humanity.